ਸੰਗਤ ਟੈਲੀਵਿਜ਼ਨ ਦੇ ਸਮੂਹ ਦਰਸ਼ਕਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਇਸ ਵਿਸ਼ੇਸ਼ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਵਿੱਚ ਆਪ ਜੀ ਦਾ ਨਿੱਘਾ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਤੇ ਫਤਿਹ ਸਾਂਝੀ ਕਰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਜੀ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਸਾਧ ਸੰਗਤ ਜੀ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਕਿ ਆਪ ਜੀ ਜਾਣਦੇ ਹੋ ਪੂਰੇ ਇੰਗਲੈਂਡ ਭਾਰਤ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਅੱਜ ਤਿਆਰੀਆਂ ਕੀਤੀਆਂ ਗਈਆਂ ਨੇ ਖਾਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਬਰਮਿੰਗਮ ਸ਼ਹਿਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਕਿ ਅੱਜ ਸ਼ਾਮ ਨੂੰ ਕਾਮਨਵੈਲਥ ਦੀਆਂ ਜੋ ਗੇਮਾਂ ਹੈ ਬਰਮਿੰਗਮ ਨੂੰ ਇਹ ਮਾਣ ਪ੍ਰਾਪਤ ਹੋਇਆ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਜੋ ਕਾਮਨਵੈਲਥ ਦੀਆਂ ਗੇਮਾਂ ਨੇ ਅੱਜ ਇਸ ਸ਼ਹਿਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੀਤੀਆਂ ਜਾਣੀਆਂ ਹਨ ਸੋ ਅੱਜ ਉਹ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਹੈ ਓਪਨਿੰਗ ਸੈਰੇਮਨੀ ਅਲੈਗਜ਼ੈਂਡਰ ਸਟੇਡੀਅਮ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸ਼ਾਮੀ 7 ਵਜੇ ਹੋਣੀ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਅੱਜ ਉਚੇਚੇ ਤੌਰ ਤੇ ਗੁਰਦੁਆਰਾ ਗੁਰਨਾਨਕ ਨਿਸ਼ਕਾਮ ਸੇਵਕ ਜਤਾ ਅਤੇ ਨਿਸ਼ਕਾਮ ਸੈਂਟਰ ਵਿਖੇ ਜੋ ਕੁਈਨਸ ਬੈਟਨ ਰੀਲੇ ਜਿੰਨੇ ਵੀ ਦੇਸ਼ ਹਨ ਕਾਮਨਵੈਲਥ ਦੇ ਤਕਰੀਬਨ 56 ਦੇਸ਼ ਹਨ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਦੇ ਦੇਸ਼ਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਦੀ ਜੋ ਬੈਟਨ ਰੀਲੇ ਹੈ ਹਰ ਇੱਕ ਵਿਅਕਤੀ ਨੂੰ ਫੜਾ ਕੇ ਉਸ ਬੈਟਨ ਰੀਲੇ ਦਾ ਜੋ ਹੈ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਕੀਤਾ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਅੱਜ ਵੀ ਉਚੇਚੇ ਤੌਰ ਤੇ ਸੋਹਰ ਰੋਡ ਦੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਕਿ ਆਪ ਜੀ ਜਾਣਦੇ ਹੋ ਕਿ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਾਡਾ ਇੱਕ ਸੁੰਦਰ ਅਸਥਾਨ ਗੁਰਦੁਆਰਾ ਗੁਰਨਾਨਕ ਨਿਸ਼ਕਾਮ ਸੇਵਕ ਜਥਾ ਅੱਜ ਇੱਥੇ ਵੀ ਜੋ ਬੈਟਨ ਰੀਲੇ ਹੈ ਇੱਥੇ ਵੀ ਪਹੁੰਚਣਾ ਹੈ ਇੱਥੇ ਵੀ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਕੀਤਾ ਜਾਣਾ ਹੈ ਵੱਖ-ਵੱਖ ਸਾਡੇ ਜੋ ਇੰਗਲੈਂਡ ਦੇ ਦੇ ਸਿਟੀਜ਼ ਹਨ ਉੱਥੇ ਯਾਨੀ ਕਿ ਗੁਰਨਾਨਕ ਗੁਰਦੁਆਰਾ ਸਮੈਦਿਕ ਗ੍ਰੇਵਜ਼ ਐਂਡ ਗੁਰਦੁਆਰਾ ਹੋਰ ਵੀ ਸਾਡੇ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਸਥਾਨ ਹਨ ਉਥੋਂ ਦੀ ਲੰਘਦਾ ਹੋਇਆ ਅੱਜ ਇਹ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਬੈਟਰ ਹੈ ਸੋਹਰ ਰੋਡ ਤੱਕ ਪਹੁੰਚਣਾ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਇੱਥੇ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਕਰਨ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਵੀ ਸਾਡੀਆਂ ਸੰਗਤਾਂ ਉਚੇਚੇ ਤੌਰ ਤੇ ਇਕੱਤਰ ਹੋਈਆਂ ਨੇ ਸੋ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਇਹ ਸਪੋਰਟਸ ਦਾ ਅਦਾਰਾ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਜਿੰਨੇ ਵੀ ਸਾਡੇ ਸਪੋਰਟਿੰਗ ਹੀਰੋਜ਼ ਹਨ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਵੀ ਸਾਡੇ ਸਪੋਰਟਸ ਦੇ ਅਦਾਰਿਆਂ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਆਪਣਾ ਜੋ ਸੰਬੰਧ ਰੱਖਦੇ ਹਨ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਅੱਜ ਉਚੇਚੇ ਤੌਰ ਤੇ ਇੱਥੇ ਪਹੁੰਚ ਰਹੇ ਨੇ ਸੋ ਆਓ ਆਪ ਜੀ ਨੂੰ ਅੱਜ ਦੇ ਇਸ ਸਮਾਗਮ ਦੇ ਨਜ਼ਾਰੇ ਦਿਖਾਈਏ ਜੀ So as communities join here in Hansworth they are coming together to welcome the Queen's Baton Relay here on Soho Road. So we're standing here directly outside the Nishkam Centre and joining me here now is Sam. Sam who leads the Hansworth Cycling Club. As you can see, you can see all the cyclists behind me. So Sam today Today we're welcoming the Queen's Baton Relay to Soho Road, the famous Soho Road, and we're standing here just outside the Gordora and outside the Nishkam Centre. Today Birmingham is welcoming the Commonwealth Games. How does it feel to be part of that? Oh, it's fantastic. The feeling is fantastic and everybody's so happy. They came here at quarter past 7 to to get join us here. So it's fantastic. Look at the kids. they came at quarter past 7 to join us though so they were so excited so am i and i hope everybody's excited yeah. yeah so how how proud do we feel that the commonwealth games have come to birmingham because uh you know it's such a diverse multicultural city and to see the games being hosted in the city of birmingham how does it feel we are proud to be a birmingham because this doesn't get an opportunity very often so we are really really fortunate that we are having a commonwealth games in birmingham yay and tell us a bit about your cycling club how long has this cycling club been going We set this club up by 6 years ago uh, in Hansworth and um, there was no riders here so I was the first one who created this club and now look at all these people are coming riding and ladies ages no barrier youngest person there uh, she's 4 and the oldest person is at the back who's 69 so which is really really good we are all diverse here it's not about uh, age or you know so it's all mixed everybody's mixed here yeah. we'll come to our youngest ones here what's your name zayan now and how long have you been cycling about two months and do you enjoy it yeah what is it what, what motivates you to come out and cycle what motivates you um is it your family do they encourage you to go out and get fit and healthy yeah that's good and what's your name jaden 
Jaden, how old are you? Seven. Seven years old. And you've come out cycling here today. Are you, um, I mean, we're welcoming the Queen's Baton Relay here today. How does it feel to be welcoming the Baton Relay here today? Good. How long have you been cycling? Maybe six or seven months. And do you enjoy it? Yeah. And what motivates you? Why do you want to come out and cycle? Do you think sports is important? Yeah. Fantastic. So as you can see, we've got... Ah, yes, we've got Gordasi here as well. Gordasi, how, how old are you? Seven. And how long have you been cycling? Uh, I've cycled since I was uh, six. And who taught you how to cycle? Samanti. Ah, Samanti has taught you to cycle. Do you think cycling is important? Do you think sports in general is important? Yeah. And do your parents encourage you to come out and be active? Yeah. That's fantastic. So as you can see, we've got a lot of youngsters here. We've got a lot of elders here and they're all here to welcome the Queen's Baton Relay because today is the day that Birmingham is going to be welcoming the Commonwealth Games. So it's the host city. So we're all looking forward to that opening ceremony taking place tonight. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, let's put our hands together for the baton, please. And the bearer. Yeah. Well done, Trevor. Yeah. Please now join us as we say a prayer together. On behalf of the communities of this beautiful, super diverse city of Birmingham, we welcome and pray for all the athletes, organizers and visitors. We pray for peace and well-being for all here in this city, Her Majesty the Queen and all those in the Commonwealth countries and the entire globe. We commit ourselves in a spirit of friendship and cooperation to work together alongside all who share our values and ideals to help bring about a better world now and for generations to come. As, As we, we celebrate, celebrate the Commonwealth Games, let us all thank thanks to the God Almighty for the well-being of all nationality and globally. Thank you. Why go to the Khalsa? Why go to the Fate? Did the Commonwealth Games? It is every four years. It is the first time in the Birmingham. It is a very big deal, a very important deal. But for the Commonwealth Games. जहाँ ओलंपिक गेम शुरू होने तो पहले ना एक बैटन दी एक सेरेमनी होनी जड़ी बैटन चल दी है कई बारी कई हजार मील तो दौड़ दिया ऐत की जड़ी बैटन ने सोहरोड एक गुरु कर दे कोनो जाना सका से सारी चंगे ने राड़ के जड़ी थे लोकल जड़ी कम्युनिटीया ओनले राड़ के जड़ी थे ऑर्गेनाइजेशन जा � सो बहुत मान दी गाल या कि इंग्लैंड की मिडलैंड्स की जड़े बर्मिंगम खास साथ जड़ी कॉमनवेल्थ गेम्स बहुत उच्च उच्च उच्चे पद्धर दी गेम्स होनी है ये ऐसे की बर्मिंगम होनी है सो ऐसे आप असाले ने देखा है बैटन आया बैटन रिसीव की था अरदास की थी इसे बैटन फिर तोड़ या तो आई गुजी का खासा वाई गुजी की फते। So joining me here now is Councillor Taylor. Councillor Taylor, today is that grand day that we've all been waiting for. It's the opening ceremony. Birmingham is host to the Commonwealth Games, and the opening ceremony is taking place tonight. And we're here as communities join together, welcoming the Queen's Baton Relay here in Handsworth. How does it feel to be part of all this? Well, I'm absolutely delighted. As I say, my name's Councillor Taylor. I'm actually a councillor in Sandwell. Recently, on the 24th of May, inaugurated as the Deputy Mayoress. Although I'm not here in that role, let me tell you something. I'm so proud of each and every person that has been involved in the Commonwealth Games, bringing us all together, 
all of us part of humanity. We talk about race, we talk about ethnicity. We're all human beings and we all have a vital part to play in this whole wide world in promoting how unity and unified we are here in Birmingham. I cannot tell you how proud I am, not only Birmingham, but the whole of the West Midlands. You'll be aware that Sandwell has the Aquatic Centre and of course, you know, the game starts there as well. But I'm so proud to be able to be at the opening event this evening. I'm looking forward to it and I'm so proud of being here in Hansworth, in Birmingham, with all of you. And joining me here now is uh, Member of Parliament, Khalid Mahmood. Khalid, we're here today. It's the opening ceremony tonight of the Commonwealth Games. I mean, post-COVID, this is the first sporting event taking place on a global stage. What would you like to say? The fact that we've all come here today, the Queen's Baton Relay has been to uh, Soho Road, and namely the Nishkam Centre. I mean, it's great to see all these communities come together. What do you think? Well, I think first of all, I want to welcome the, the baton to my constituency. This is the first stop uh, in my constituency, and it's very relevant. It's very relevant here at the Nishkam Centre and the Gudwara because the integral role uh, that this institution has played in not just here itself, but for the wider community in the regeneration, support and working together. That's what we want. That's what the Commonwealth is about, of all the communities in the Commonwealth getting together, all the nations in the Commonwealth getting together and peace and prosperity. That's what's been practiced here. And I think what we want to do is to encourage more people uh, to integrate like this, to be part of each other, to enjoy the great heritage and cultures of the Commonwealth. This is exactly what we're doing today. And I want to thank Paisabji for putting this together and an absolutely fantastic event. I mean, a lot of time and effort has gone into the organizing um, of, of the Commonwealth Games. And, you know, we've had the pandemic. It's been a tough two years. But to see Birmingham on that global stage tonight with over approximately a billion people tuning in. I mean, this is Birmingham's time to shine. So what do you think will be on offer tonight for the rest of the world? Well, on, on offer tonight is what Birmingham is made of, is, is what Birmingham, and this is what typifies it. All of the countries in the Commonwealth are based here. There are people from literally all, every the country that's here to demonstrate the multi-ethnicity uh, of the city, how we all managed to get together, how we together uh, put a bond together. You saw all the people coming here today of all religions and of none, no religion at all. That's what's good about this place. This is fantastic. This is what highlights Birmingham, is that we all work together to ensure that we live as one community in peace and harmony. So joining me here now is Simon, the West Midlands Police and Crime Commissioner. Simon, we've just welcomed the Queen's Baton Relay here in Hansworth and all the communities have come here today to welcome the Baton Relay. I mean, today Birmingham is going to shine on that global stage as the opening ceremony is taking place tonight. I mean, how proud does it make you feel the fact that Birmingham is going to be on that global stage tonight? It's an absolute honour, a pleasure and a privilege to be here enjoying the atmosphere at Nishkam Gudwara on Soho Road in Hansworth. This embodies the spirit of Hansworth, Birmingham and the wider West Midlands. It really is an illustration of people and communities coming together, united as one for the greater good of us all in order to celebrate everything that is great about Birmingham and the wider West Midlands and to celebrate the forthcoming Commonwealth Games that we are all looking forward to in Birmingham and the wider West Midlands. I'm sure with the police force, um, it, they're, they're going to be out in force today. Um, I mean, how challenging has it been for the police force? I mean, we've had two years of COVID, so it's been tremendous. Uh, there's been tremendous pressure on the organising committee, but how prepared do you think the city really is? There's been a lot of preparation and hard work that's gone into ensuring that we're going to have a successful, safe, secure, but above all else, friendly Commonwealth Games, welcoming the world to Birmingham and the wider West Midlands. And I know that West Midlands Police have worked very hard in order to ensure that we're going to be safe and secure and, a, and have a successful Games. Thank you very much. By G today, um is the opening ceremony tonight of the Commonwealth Games. We've just had the Queen's Baton Relay here. So Birmingham will be on the global stage tonight and uh, they're estimating over a billion people will be tuning in to see uh, Birmingham shining on that stage tonight. How does it feel to welcome the Batons Relay here at the Nishkam campus, namely outside the Gurdwara here today? It is a great honor. It is a great honor. And Hansworth, as you know, is a very important place. Hansworth is where we started the Industrial Revolution. We have uh, 
Matthew Bolton's residence, 250 meters from here, and his employee, James Ward, gave us the bulbs. And this is why we could have the Industrial Revolution. Of course, we had railway engines, and so railway lines were set up in different countries, different continents, and import and export. This is how we became very rich. So this was a flourishing community here at one time, around 1640. Mm -hmm. And so we are happy that we have now education here, we have faith here, we have heritage here, and of course we have the super diverse community here. So it's lovely to have everybody here join in to welcome this torch. I mean, how important is sport? I mean, we talk about sports and fitness in general, but how important is it? I mean, especially for a younger generation. I mean, we're living in a world today where we've got these digital phones, we've got our computers, our PlayStations, but very little emphasis is being given on sports for youngsters. I mean, how important do you feel sport really is? Well, sport is very important, but values are very important also. You see, you, we, we need to have good human beings. Good human beings will be good for themselves, they'll be good for others. Citizens may not be good human beings, but you have to have values, and that is what we try and teach here. Way back in 2007, we came up with 24 moral and spiritual dispositions, and we have started schools, they're excellent schools. Because if you teach children values, and these are not abstract, Teach them compassion, teach them honesty, accountability, teach them contentment, devoid of greed, teach them humility and love for everybody, for God's creation. You will make good human beings and they'll be good. That's what we need in a global village. We need peace, but we have to have peace inside us. So we have created a peace charter for reconciliation and forgiveness. You cannot reconcile unless you forgive, even at home, within families. If you don't forgive, <laughs> you have a prisoner within yourself, within your own self. You feel guilty all the time. You must let this prisoner free. Forgive. All mothers know how to forgive. So I think we have to come up with values and virtues, ethics. That's important in a global village and peace, no fighting, no killing. Soho Road, this is the busiest road in Birmingham. And Soho was a hunting cry. I did some research. Now we are killing, at that time we were killing animals, now we are killing people. Are we civilized? That's the question. And what has gone wrong? We are not teaching values. You have to teach children values. And education starts at conception. You know, the unborn children are influenced what the mother is thinking. And if the husband is not careful, he is creating problems within the household, you have problems. So we have to have stable marriages. 80% of the criminals come from broken homes. That's what the message is these days. And I can see that we're standing here. Um, this is a vision of yours to see um, this uh, archway being built here in, in Hansworth. What was your, what was the idea behind this archway? Why do you think it's important because to have such nobody an Nobody knows that there is this Soho House here. And this was the epicenter of the Industrial Revolution. We have forgotten that. So we wanted to put on Soho Hill this arch. And the community, and you can see the number of uh, little writings here. This is all about values and ethics. So we want to put back Matthew Bolton's residence onto the road here with this arch. <laughs> this is the idea. And you have an exhibition there. You must go and see that exhibition. All these properties, we have timelines for them. Who lived here, when? Because we must conserve heritage. But more than heritage, we must conserve values. What were the good values of olden times? Why did the flourishing community, uh, community go down? Well, it's, they started gambling, drinking. That brought about the downfall here. So we've been trying to renovate. We spent about 60 million here over 40 years. But we are happy what is uh, now being depicted. 
and we are happy that everybody has joined and the police commissioner is here, <laughs> you know. So we have a responsibility and I keep saying responsibility is a precursor to rights. If you have no responsibility, you have no rights. So we must be very responsible, make children responsible, make ourselves responsible. Thank you. So, Councillor, as we've just heard uh, by Seb G, um, the importance of values. I mean, values um, are important in every sector. I mean, you're a councillor. How important, and you know, how important do you feel values are? And is this something that you're nurturing within your own council? Well, what I would say is that as a local servant, um, a public servant, and as a local politician, I like to think that I lead by example. Um, I treat everybody in the way that I feel that I want to be treated. But I think what's really important is for us to have that value of empathy, sensitivity, and to be able to be trustworthy and do the best that you can do uh, within a legal framework, because we have got the Police and Crime Commissioner here, to serve people. Um, I am programmed to care. Yeah, so I am a very caring and very tactile politician and I would like to think that I go that extra mile for the people that I serve. I'm very proud to serve 11,500 people in the ward called Greets Green and Ling and I've been serving those people since 2014. But more important to me, although that is a very diverse part of Sandwell, you know, I serve everybody that needs my support. So, you know, I hope that's answered your question. That's fantastic. Thank you very much. And we also that around 1830s, Birmingham City Council was known to be the best governed council in the world. That's the legacy of the civic gospel here. So we should be proud of Birmingham. And we've also got here Rabbi Yassi Jacobs. Rabbi Jacobs, thank you very much for joining us. Um, today we've welcomed the Queen's Baton Relay here in Handsworth. All diverse communities have come here together to welcome the baton and we've got the opening ceremony of the Commonwealth Games tonight. How does it feel to be part of all this and uh, the opening ceremony tonight? How does it feel to be part of the Commonwealth Games? The one word that comes to mind is friendship. Everything today is friendship. This is not just a celebration for the Gurdwara or for the Handsworth or for the city of Birmingham, but this is for the entire world. And you can feel that the energy here today, seeing people of so many different faiths, all in friendship. People are here because they know each other, there's relationships which have been worked on for many years, and everyone's just so happy to be here today. I think it's fantastic to see faith communities come here together because, I mean, Birmingham is going to be in the spotlight tonight. Over a billion people will be tuning in to the Commonwealth Games opening ceremony. I mean, this is Birmingham's time to shine. I mean, how do you think it will be tonight? So Birmingham shines every day, uh, but today the world will be seeing us, which is fantastic. And um, my relationship with Baisab G and with Amrit began through the Birmingham Faith Leaders Group, which was started by my predecessor, the late Rabbi Tan. After 9-11, he came to the mosque together with other faith leaders to show a hand of friendship. And that friendship remains even today. We're celebrating so many years later, but those relationships continue to develop. Um, and that's what this is all about. And Birmingham has led the way in that and we continue to lead the way. I mean, what would you like to see in terms of legacy projects? I mean, this is, um, obviously we've got the Commonwealth Games tonight. I mean, it's uh, 11 days of sporting events, but what would you like to see the legacy, especially for, I mean, namely for Birmingham? So on the organizing committee, one of the things we've been discussing about, what do we leave with? After in two weeks time, what, what do we take with us? And the reality is that these relationships, uh, the events like this that we're here today, celebrating, being here for each other, Amrik and Bai Sabji only had to lift the phone and I was here because I know the, they would do the same for me and they have done the same for us on so many occasions. Those friendships, uh, relationships at the top have to continue to develop so that people across the city will see that and continue to follow. We've got Jeff here, so good morning. It's morning. been a historic day today in Birmingham. If you want to expand on that, please. Historic, memorable, spiritual, practical, but above all, um, Birmingham 2022 its mission aim is a games for everyone and Birmingham's strength is its diversity the communities and the location and sometimes I not think appreciated Handsworth is known to the world wherever I've traveled in the world if I'm in Soweto and I say Handsworth they recognize and relate to Handsworth because of the diversity but the life chances and struggles that exist every single day so for me the games truly came alive 
by the baton, having organizations like Nishkam bringing in from a subcultural standpoint the diversity of the community spirit I've witnessed, but above all to bring the multi-faith, interfaith spirituality now I believe gives the games the perfect, perfect starting point by which to see 11 days of sporting festival leave a legacy opportunity for all. And again, well done to your team for organizing such a big event. All the world media, all the world attention is on to Birmingham and we feel very proud to be part of it. 1.2, 1.3 billion citizens will be watching the opening ceremony a number of hours from now and then the eyes of the world will be on Birmingham. Birmingham is the world in one city and the Commonwealth is visiting the Commonwealth of Birmingham. Thank you very much and we pray everything goes to plan. Yeah. My only other message would be to the streets. Yeah. Our young people ultimately have to have hope and opportunity. Sure. Whatever their identity, background, whatever they feel they're not getting by way of an opportunity to realize their potential, these games are and I will be committed in ensuring that they get a chance to realize all that the games has pledged to provide from them. That is a youth charter and that comes from Manchester in 2002 to Glasgow 2014 to London 2012 to Birmingham 2022. Be patient. Thank you. It will be provided. Thank you so much. All the best. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you and this young lady <laughs> was the reason out of a chance discussion at a conference last week, the Commonwealth Business Leaders Conference, I simply asked if something could happen. And I think we need to recognise our women and what they are able to do, even when you think it hasn't been done. Would you like to expand on that? <laughs> well, it was a chance conversation last week at the Commonwealth Business Conference um, with the Institute of Directors I was attending, where I met Jeff. And we had a conversation. Jeff expressed his desire um, on the morning of the Games to have a blessing, a multi faith blessing. And I knew here at the Nishkam Centre that the baton was arriving, a community event was being put on. And so basically, I was the connector, so to speak. And that really is our role in society as, as as public servants, as citizens of the world, and um, also as Sevadars as well. Yeah. And it's such a big privilege that all the communities coming together. Sports is such a thing, it unites everyone. Absolutely. You know, whether it's sport, I've been part of the cultural programme for the Commonwealth Games as well, whether it's worship, faith, it sees no boundaries. And we, this is what the Commonwealth Games is about. It's about bringing people together. Yes, it comes with its um, the other side of the coin and the echoes of empire, but there's so, so much to celebrate. It's not just about sport, it's about communities, it's about culture, and actually also about business as well. You know, I represent Greater Birmingham and Solihull Local Enterprise Partnership, and this is a great opportunity for our small and medium-sized businesses, many of whom are owned by, by, by people from our multi-ethnic communities to take that opportunity and um, thrive really in the 11 days that it's here but also hopefully to gain contracts worldwide beyond the games as well. And thank you very much being an ambassador for the games, being a part of it and also we feel very proud when we see our kids, our generation, our children rising and performing to world standards. We feel very proud as a community as well. And absolutely, and there's some great sportsmen and sportswomen out there. And what I love about these games is there's more female medals <laughs> than male medals. And isn't that great? Is. Actually, that's what Birmingham is about. It's about um, pushing the buttons, pushing back a little bit, sure. and um, through that pushback, growing growing ourselves, growing our communities and growing the city and you know the hashtag be bold be Birmingham what a brilliant hashtag we're not the second city we are the city yes very proud yeah absolutely thank you very much for your time all the best thank you and I hope everybody enjoys a peaceful and prosperous and joyous Commonwealth Games thank you thank you so much thank you on Sardinal Sardin local hands were the council Sahib at Wal Sahib Ji Jinnah Di Bhoot Vaddi Deen Hai Hands with the area lake in Salanto, a Sivan Vare and Council of the Atwaji, Yg Kakalsa, Yg Kalsa Fateji, and the Subtle Bot Bot Sari, Birmingham Bot Bot Vadai, Historic Nubi, Sangat TV, DJD Managementa, by Sabahananu, 
ਜਾਂ ਜਿੰਨੇ ਵੀ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਬਿਊ ਰਿਹਾ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਕੰਗ੍ਰੈਚੂਲੇਸ਼ਨ ਆਪਾਂ ਬਰਮਿੰਗਮ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਗੱਲ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਆ ਹੈਂਡਵਰਥ ਦੀ ਤੇ ਕਈ ਦਫਾ ਮੀਡੀਆ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਕਈਆਂ ਕਾਰਨਾਂ ਕਰਕੇ ਨੈਗੇਟਿਵਿਟੀ ਵੀ ਰਹੀ ਆ ਪਰ ਮੈਂ ਇੱਥੇ ਹੈਂਡਵਰਥ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਰਾਉਂਡ ਸੋਹਰ ਰੋਡ ਦੇ ਉੱਤੇ 54 ਸਾਲ ਤੋਂ ਆ 1968 ਤੋਂ ਹੁਣ ਇਕਨੋਮਿਕਲੀ ਵੀ ਬਹੁਤ ਵਧੀਆ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਆ ਕਾਮਨਵੈਲਥ ਗੇਮਸ ਆ ਨਾ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਬੱਚਿਆਂ ਤੋਂ ਲਾ ਕੇ ਸਿਆਣਿਆਂ ਤੇ ਕਾਫੀ ਉਤਸ਼ਾਹਤ ਆ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਇਹਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਬਿਲ ਵੀ ਆ ਗਿਆ ਸਾਰੇ ਕੁਝ ਨਾ ਕੁਝ ਆਪਣੀ ਮੂਵਮੈਂਟ ਕਰਨ ਲੱਭ ਪਿਆ ਚਾਹੇ ਉਹ ਘਰ ਐਕਸਰਸਾਈਜ਼ ਕਰਦੇ ਜਾਂ ਬਾਹਰ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਤੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਕਾਫੀ ਵਧੀਆ ਕਰ ਦਿੱਤੀ ਜਿਹਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਸਿਹਤ ਲਈ ਵੀ ਬਹੁਤ ਵਧੀਆ ਤੇ ਹਸਪਤਾਲਾਂ ਤੇ ਜਾਣ ਨਾਲੋਂ ਵੀ ਵਧੀਆ ਹੈਗਾ ਵੀ ਫਰਦੇ ਤੁਰ ਦੇ ਬਹੁਤ ਵਧੀਆ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਦੇਖ ਸਕਦੇ ਕਿ ਵੀ ਸੋਹ ਰੋਡ ਦੀ ਵੀ ਇਕਨੋਮਿਕਲੀ ਕਾਫੀ ਫਰਕ ਪਿਆ ਆ ਡਿਵੈਲਪਮੈਂਟ ਹੋਈ ਆ ਸਿਟੀ ਚ ਸਾਰੇ ਏਰੀਆਆਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸੋ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਆਪ ਜੀ ਨੂੰ ਬਹੁਤ ਬਹੁਤ ਵਧਾਈ ਇਕਬਾਲ ਜੀ ਆਪ ਦੀ ਬਹੁਤ ਵੱਡੀ ਦੇਣ ਆ ਆਪ ਇਸੇ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਚਲੋ ਗੁਰੂ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਦੀ ਕਿਰਪਾ ਜੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਜਿੰਨੀ ਸੇਵਾ ਲੈਂਦੇ ਮੈਂ ਕਰੀ ਜਾਣਾ ਪਰ ਮੈਂ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਇੱਕ ਮੜੀ ਜੀ ਕਈ ਮੀਡੀਆ ਦੂਜੇ ਤੇ ਮੇਨ ਤੇ ਵੀ ਗੱਲ ਕੀਤੀ ਵੀ ਜਿਹਨੂੰ ਆਪਾਂ ਕਾਮਨ ਵੈਲਥ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਅਬਾਊਟ 72 ਕੰਟਰੀ ਜਿਹੜੀਆਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੀ ਇਨਵੋਲਵ ਹੋਈਆਂ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਜਿੱਥੇ ਬ੍ਰਿਟਿਸ਼ ਰਾਜ ਵਾਲਿਆਂ ਨੇ ਰਾਜ ਕੀਤਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਆ ਤੇ ਉਹਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਤਕਰੀਬਨ 19000 ਮੀਲ ਤੋਂ ਆਹ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਕਿਉਂ ਇਹ ਵੈਟਰ ਹੈਗੀ ਆ ਇਹ ਆਈ ਆ ਤੇ ਰਾਤੀ ਬਹੁਤ ਵਧੀਆ ਕਾਉਂਸਲ ਆਫ ਦੇ ਬਾਰ ਸੈਲੀਬ੍ਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਸੀ ਅੱਜ ਸ਼ਾਮ ਨੂੰ ਬਹੁਤ ਵਧੀਆ ਹੈਗੀ ਹੁਣ ਆਪਣੇ ਸੋਹਰ ਰੋਡ ਤੇ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਪ੍ਰਾਊਡ ਔਰ ਅੱਗੇ ਵੀ ਇੰਟਰਨੈਸ਼ਨਲ ਤੌਰ ਤੇ ਸੋਹਰ ਰੋਡ ਜਾਣਿਆ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਪਰ ਹੁਣ ਅੱਜ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਇਹ ਵੀ ਕਾਫੀ ਜਾਣਿਆ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਪੂਰੀ ਸੋਹਰ ਰੋਡ ਦੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਇਹ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਆ ਬੈਠਨ ਰੈਲੀ ਇਹ ਹੋਈ ਆ ਤੇ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਵੀ ਸੰਗਤ ਟੀਵੀ ਦਾ ਵੀ ਬਹੁਤ ਬਹੁਤ ਧੰਨਵਾਦ ਜੀ ਸੋ ਇਸ ਵੇਲੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਨਾਲ ਆਂਟੀ ਜੀ ਗਰਮੀਤ ਕੌਰ ਜੋਲ ਹਾਜ਼ਰ ਨੇ ਆਂਟੀ ਜੀ ਅੱਜ ਕੁਈਨਸ ਬੈਟਨ ਰੀਲੇ ਇੱਥੇ ਪਹੁੰਚਾ ਹੋਇਆ ਸੀ ਖਾਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਗੁਰਦੁਆਰਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਅੱਜ ਗੇਮਾਂ ਹੋਣ ਨੂੰ ਜਾ ਰਹੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਕਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਦਾ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਮਹਿਸੂਸ ਹੋਇਆ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਮਾਹੌਲ ਹੈ ਸਾਰੀਆਂ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀਆਂ ਇਕੱਠੀਆਂ ਹੋ ਕੇ ਅੱਜ ਇਸ ਬੈਟਨ ਦਾ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਕੀਤਾ ਕਿਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਮਹਿਸੂਸ ਹੋਇਆ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਤਾਂ ਇੰਨਾ ਸੋਹਣਾ ਮਹਿਸੂਸ ਹੋਇਆ ਕਿ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਤਾਂ ਖੁਸ਼ੀ ਦੀ ਕੋਈ ਹੱਦ ਨਹੀਂ ਰਹੀ ਪਹਿਲੀ ਤਾਂ ਗੱਲ ਬਾਬਾ ਜੀ ਦਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਬਹੁਤ ਧੰਨਵਾਦ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਗੁਰੂ ਘਰ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇੱਥੇ ਲਿਆਂਦਾ ਗਿਆ ਤੇ ਇੰਨਾ ਸੋਹਣਾ ਕੰਮ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਕੀਤਾ ਗਿਆ ਬਹੁਤ ਮੈਂ ਤੇਰੇ ਪੁੱਤ ਦੇ ਦਰਸ਼ਨ ਕੀਤੇ ਇਹ ਵੀ ਬਹੁਤ ਵੱਡੀ ਚੀਜ਼ ਆ ਪਰ ਸਾਰੀ ਸਾਰਾ ਸਰ ਬਾਬਾ ਜੀ ਦਾ ਬਾਬਾ ਜੀ ਸਦਾ ਹੀ ਖੁਸ਼ੀਆਂ ਦੇਵੇ ਸਾਰੀ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਨੂੰ ਸਦਾ ਹੀ ਸੁਖੀ ਰਵੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਵੀ ਦੇਖਣ ਜਾਈਏ ਮੇਲਾ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਤਾਂ ਮੇਲਾ ਮੰਗ ਰਿਹਾ ਤੇ ਤੇਰਾ ਵੀ ਭਲਾ ਹੋ ਜਾਏ ਤੇ ਸਟੇਜ ਸਤਾਈ ਆਪਣੀ ਸਾਰੀ ਬਹੁਤ ਸੋਹਣਾ ਹੋਇਆ ਹੋਰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਦੱਸੋ ਹੋਰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਿੰਨਾ ਕੁਝ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਇੱਥੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਲਈ ਅਸੀਂ ਤਾਂ ਬੁੱਢੇ ਸਿਆਣੇ ਹੋ ਗਏ ਹੁਣ ਤੇ ਗਾਹਾਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਸੋਚੋ ਕੀ ਕਰਨਾ ਬੱਚਿਆਂ ਲਈ ਬਹੁਤ ਖੁਸ਼ੀ ਦੀ ਗੱਲ ਆ ਅੱਜ ਕੱਲ ਬੱਚਿਆਂ ਕੋਲ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਕਿ ਪਲੇਸਟੇਸ਼ਨਸ ਨੇ ਮੋਬਾਈਲ ਫੋਨਸ ਨੇ ਹੋਰ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਾਰੀਆਂ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਨੇ ਜਿਹਦੇ ਉੱਤੇ ਬੱਚਾ ਬੱਚੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਧਿਆਨ ਰੱਖਦੇ ਨੇ ਲੇਕਿਨ ਸਪੋਰਟਸ ਵੱਲ ਸਿਹਤ ਵੱਲ ਬਹੁਤ ਘੱਟ ਧਿਆਨ ਰੱਖਦੇ ਨੇ ਕਿੰਨਾ ਕੁ ਜ਼ਰੂਰੀ ਹੈ ਬੱਚਿਆਂ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਆਪਣੀ ਸਿਹਤ ਦਾ ਧਿਆਨ ਰੱਖਣਾ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਬਹੁਤ ਜ਼ਰੂਰੀ ਬੱਚਿਆਂ ਦਾ ਪਹਿਲਾ ਤਾਂ ਮਾਂ ਪਿਓ ਤੇ ਸਾਡਾ ਫਰਜ਼ ਬਣਦਾ ਕਿ 